Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Tablet Cover Tutorial. Now this will be the second time I've done this because as I was making the other one, I found a better way of doing it. So this will be my way that's so far I've come across the best way of making a tablet cover out of a book and or journal. Let's see. Now I had put up a sort of not necessarily a pre-tutorial, but a slight explanation of what I wanted to do and what I did. Now this is, or at least was, a journal in, a, in its previous life, and it was awesome. <laughs> and the one I had shown in the little mini tutorial there was my Star Wars one that I didn't, I mean I loved, but I didn't like the way I did it. I used staples and then just it just didn't work out right. I mean, it was good. It keeps my thing in, in its place and it secures it, but I don't know. I, it, I, ju I just wanted to improve the actual method. And then the next time I went to Walmart, I found this. Which is just so me. <laughs> this was so cute, but I wish this was on the front. It's just a bunch of Monster High girls. Which are cute, but... Eh. <laughs> I should look into getting some of those. I, I come across a few of them and then just never really think of them. And this actually keeps it closed. So I kept that on there. Not really necessary, but, you know, since it's there, it's useful. And this is what the journal paper looked like. And the way you take this apart, the journal actually remains a journal. So the paper doesn't go to waste. And that was just really awesome paper. <laughs> and the Star Wars one had Star Wars in the side, so. So I did that. And this is what your finished result will be. And this will fit a 7 inch tablet or ebook, but the elastics don't matter, just make sure the width of your book and or journal is wide enough so it will close properly. Because you really don't want to like squish your tablet too much and you know you just wanted a good decent fit so eyeball your tablet or ebook. Some are thinner, some are thicker. This was a little thicker. <coughs> so just judge the width. But this is a standard 7 inch around this side. So that's your finished result. And this is one I had made that was a little too thin. It, it'll fit, but it gives you a little it squishes a little more. And this was another journal, which is the paper that I had shown you. And this is, again, this part improved from the Star Wars one, but I wanted to like kind of add an extra piece in the middle here. So I will be showing you how to do that as well. Now I kind of already did it, step one. I was going to do another one, but I kind of screwed that one up because it was made differently. Now, what you will need is a book and or journal. Now this was an actual book book I got from the Goodwill, and I had already taken out the guts of the book because my spare grandmother's like, hmm, that looks like it'd be kind of interesting. So if you're wondering where the innards are to any of these, if they're made properly, where they're just attached by this section here, it will remain in book form just without the cover. So the book is being read, and I get to keep the cover, <laughs> because I was kind of having reservations about, you know, deconstructing a book. Especially now that they're probably going to be very rare items since everything's digital now. I mean, nothing beats the feel of an actual book in your hand, you know? So this is just a novel of some sort. And they actually glued down the, um, I think, what the hell, the dust cover, I think the term is, which is good. Because most of these just have a plain, you know, boring cover. Most of the adult books do. The kids' books have the print actually on the thing, but of course, how many dust covers are going to survive a kid, right? So, that is that. And like I said, I took that out. But that's what you will need. Your cover of choice. Exacto knife of goodness. I claim no responsibility for any bloodletting that may occur, yours and or mine. <clears throat> Make sure this is sharp and your t t tip is really relatively good because you'll be needing both sharpie pointies. Elastic. 
This is a fourth of an inch. And this is about as small as you want to go because it's thick enough to secure but small enough that it's not blocking any of the actual screen. You can go a little bigger if you feel like you need that much more protection or, you know, security, but this is about the size that you would want. And I looked and I haven't been able to find, like, black or any other colors that might exist. Actually, I think I came across red one time, but that's, like, very rare. But if you don't mind what, the, what it looks like, you will have white. <laughs> Glue sticks and thumb depressors and nose pickers, I don't know. But, <laughs> but these things, I'm sure, have a technical name that I cannot recall at the moment. Now, if you want to use your fingers for the glue and, you know, be happy and that type of thing, go ahead. But I find these are a lot more better to use, especially when you're spreading your glue out in a sheet, which is what we'll be doing. So a handful of these. Writing implement of goodness color of your choice. And a pair of scissors. They don't need to be super sharp, but, you know circumcisions and stuff like that. Always good. And you will need, finally, two sheets of foam board or craft foam, I think the term is. Now I got this at Walmart, like in a super duper package because I was doing a different type of project. And I ended up with a bunch of colors that I really didn't need. Then I'm like, hey, I know what I can do with these. So this is that. Now, best thing to do Depending on if you're going to be using the inside page, which this didn't come with, sometimes if you're using a journal, it'll come with like maybe a cover leaf that might be kind of pretty, like like what happened here. This was the cover leaf of my journal, and another one just had a bunch of girls, but I like this, so I kept that and just glued it on top of the craft foam. So if you want to, like, spice up your craft foam, go for it. But I wouldn't put, like, glitter and things like that or anything <laughs> inside because you are going to be putting this on top of your screen. So if you like your cover leaf, keep it and glue it on. Otherwise, you can just use your plain craft foam. And if you just use the plain craft foam, try to pick one that kind of matches your, your book. This not quite does, but it's the closest thing I had. This went to the other book that came out awful. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's only my suggestion. You can use whatever color you like. I just kind of like going with the theme of the book. And we'll be covering the poor little, <laughs> poor little lady here that wrote the book. Sorry, madam. So this is what you'll be needing. Now, as I said, I already did step one. And most books will be made in a way that just checking something here that the only thing that's securing the book to the cover is the front and back sheets of paper and if you pick up your book this way it'll be loose right here those are the type of books you want to get I just tried to do a tutorial with another book that glued it all the way to the spine didn't work <laughs> you want it so it's easily extractable and the book will remain in book form so all you do is take your craft knife exacto knife of goodness and carefully slit down the sides here being as close to this as possible and without going through here otherwise you no longer have a book you have a lot of pages that no longer connect and do this for both sides and it will take five seconds. Just make sure you have a sharp knife and you try to go as straight as you can. And that would be that step. The easiest and the most important step. And that's all you'll be needing your exacto knife for. And this is going to be kind of awkward because of the leaf. And if you want, you could probably secure your leaf a little better to the cover if you want to keep it. Or you can just take it off completely. I think I'm just going to keep it this way because it looks more like a genuine book, which which is good too, because people will be less likely. You think you're reading whatever your book this happens to be, but you're actually doing something on your tablet, so it's kind of a security thing too. Nowadays, I don't know if it matters as much. Plus, it's also something interesting. Now, if you want, you can clean up the edges here, which is one reason you will need your scissors, and just go up 
and take off the extra glue and little dippy pieces that happen to be floating here. Just gives you a cleaner edge to work with. Sometimes it's easier to go the other way around. But you know, just go as flush as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be covering it later. <laughs> the stuck is being a bit of a challenge here. Clean up your wee you little mess here. All right. Now the first step you will want to do, since this didn't have a, I mean it did and it didn't, but it didn't have like a cover leaf, but the cover leaf was attached to the book, and she kept it so she can write the name of the actual book on it. So we will be using a piece of <laughs> the journal here. And you can use whatever paper you want. Since this is a plain paper, we'll just be using a plain white piece of paper. Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. and clean up the side here. Does, this again doesn't have to be perfect because it will be covered. Now you have the choice here too if you want to keep the inside and outside flap. You know, just peel it off and most of the times it'll be, you know, off. You can do these steps and then once you're done putting this on there, just fold this over like you would have regularly. But since this is already glued down, we'll be covering the inside since I have no interest in this book whatsoever. <laughs> so you will want to be gluing this page in between here. And it's mostly an extra piece of security and your book won't be so floppy. Now what you want to do is just sort of generally measure out where it is in the middle and it pretty much just goes right here to the end. Now take your glue and glue it down on one side first and this is where a little sticky comes in if you just glued this down, you'll just have like a bunch of bumps. I like spreading out the glue so you give you so it gives you a nicer sheet of glue plus you have a little more you know, more of a base that your item can stick to. This one's a little awkward because there we go. And just spread it out into a thin sheet. And attach kind of measure your piece of paper. Now, now push down your piece of paper so it kind of goes into your spine here, but don't glue it down to the spine. Bend it over and glue it like that. That way you won't end up with a stiff book that won't fold. You want a little give in here. So once you push it down, just bend it back, add some more glue to your other side. Make sure you have enough glue to do this. <laughs> now when you're doing paper to paper, you don't need a buttload of glue. So just a very thin sheet. And again, spread it. Spread it. And Make sure you push down your spine here and attach your paper. Try to get the uh, bumps out as best you can. Yeah. Again, this doesn't, you know, not overly important, but you know, just get it as flat as you can. Make sure it's secure. Okay, so that kind of gives you a little more, you know, 
oomph here. And you don't see the edges or anything either. It kind of cleans it up and gives you a little more security. Next thing you'll kind of want to do is take your craft foam and measure out where you want your foam to be. Now I like it right up to the edge. Now the best way I found to do that is, you know, just put it to the edge and you want it up to the edge of where the back meets the curve of the spine. In most seven inches will be, you know, you'll actually have to trim a bit, but very, very little. So just do that and kind of, and just trace around your, your book here. Or even if you just want to eyeball it, since there's very, very little to trim here. Yeah, yeah, there's very, very little to trim. So take your writing implement and just trace around the edge of your book or your journal. Sometimes it'll have like a curved edge, so that's why I suggest tracing it. And do this for both pieces. And use your scissors and trim off the excess. You have very little waste as far as this project is concerned. And they do if you if you want if you do have like a larger tablet like the 10 inch or something like that, they do have bigger pieces of craft foam. And you could probably just get the one piece. Those you'd have to find at like a Michaels or a Joann's. And you can upsize this project. And again, they would probably very little waste because you could probably just get the one sheet and then cut both pieces to size. And that, that's it for your waste on this particular project. And that'll be all you'll need your pen for. And you will be placing your foam sheets like so. And you can trim afterwards if you see it kind of peeks out a little more than it should, but. There you go. Now, this is where you will want to get your tablet electronic piece of goodness you will want to kind of place it in there and plus it's always a good idea to kind of see if it'll fit there with your thing which is good this would be the perfect width for this particular thing and you can put this piece aside now what you want to do is measure how much elastic you want. And I don't know if you'd vary as far as the um, screen is concerned, but you want it enough where it will anchor it securely on the corners without being, you know, obstructive in any way. But you don't want it too far near the edge, you do want it securely in. So measure it on the diagonal is about where you'd want it. Up to the edges of your craft foam. If you can see, you go here. You can move your tablet when you have a general idea here. So you'll be going like this. Now, there's no quite you know particular amount that you need precisely, because we will be attaching it to the other side. But you want enough of it that there's enough that you can attach. So basically, once you have your first measurement, just fold it in half and cut. And this will vary depending on your width of your tablet and whereabouts you want it. Maybe about six inches for this one. And you want four pieces. Now I will be getting there you go. Now you can tell how old this one is. This is National, four for a dollar. Pay what, three dollars now just for one? 
<laughs> 60 cents originally. Wow. And this will be a little bit different because I ran out here. This must be a newer one because this is wider. <laughs> so, just again, generally measure here. There we go. And put that aside. Now, what we'll be doing, if you want to have it exactly positioned here, ignore here, here, take your tablet. Again, measure where you want it. And give yourself a little marker. Now this, again, doesn't have to be exact, but just just helps you kind of place it when you're doing this. Now this, this is the side we'll be flipping over, so you won't be seeing your marks. Now what you'll be doing, also you want to put your cover aside. Now what you'll be doing is you'll be gluing your elastic down on the back. Now this is the part where I'd use staples. Now you do not want to staple onto this whatsoever because the staple could very well touch your tablet and you don't want metal anywhere near this. Let's and I had stapled this actually to the cover, but the staples went through the cover. I mean, it's okay, but it's kind of uncomfortable when you're holding onto it. And you couldn't tell between the TIE Fighters. So, <laughs> but I just didn't like that. But I thought it would be more secure. But if you've got a good enough glue, this should be secure enough. So what you will want to be doing is taking your measurements here. Lay your elastics flat on the other side that you will see and that will that your unit will be covering and just line it up to your marks again this doesn't have to be perfect but you know it just gives you a general idea to where to put it and take your glue And glue it down. Now what you will want to do though is you won't be gluing over you know over your marks. You want your elastic as flush as possible to the top and bottom. So instead of folding it this way you will be folding it down like this. I don't know if you can quite tell so you don't want this popping up too much because when you close your tablet it will it will jump up and show I did that before and you don't want to see the elastic you know one it gives it away until it looks really crappy so just glue that down and do the same for the other side here And you will be doing this for all four corners. Get it as flush as you can to the edge of the piece. Also, this is where your clips can kind of come in. I don't think I'd want to do this at this stage because the way these clips are really, really tight, it will pinch your... I mean, it will probably pinch regardless if you don't mind pinch marks. You can do this at any stage. But then you can, you know, attach it after the point, after the fact, once you have assembled the entire piece. But then again, you know, this is an optional step. You could probably use paper clips, something that will just hold it down. 
without pinching. Or you could just sit here and hold it down. And get back to you after. Okay, now once you have secured your elastics, take your book here. Now it's not necessarily important which side you want your tablet on. I'm right-handed, I just sort of instinctively put it on this side. And flip your piece over so you'll be seeing it looking like that. And, you know, before this step, if you want to cover your piece with the front page of your book or your thing, do that before you do this, just a little easier. But since we're not doing that, we can skip that entirely. Now take this and your glue and pop tart this food. Okay. I like the swirl and swipe method. Excuse me, Miss Hilton. And this is where these will come really, really, really in hand. If you leave it like this, it's okay, but you're only going to be securing your thing with that amount of glue. Plus, you'll be feeling it through the, the um, craft foam. So what you want to do is take your wooden stick of goodness and swipe the glue down, getting as close to the edge as you can. Anywhere that your foam will be touching. And try to get it as far over here as you can. So this will give you a nice secure base for your tablet to attach to. So instead of having like just a little bit of glue here and there, you will be glued the entire back to your unit here. Again, if you want to use your fingers, that's fine, but I just find that's a little easier to do. And just position your craft foam slash thing onto your book here. And again, if you want extra security, you know, clip, clip down your edges here which will be really hard to do on here. And again, if you don't want press marks, weigh it down with maybe a heavier book. And the way we glued these down, they are less likely to be noticed when you hold your book up. You know, just do it as best as you can. You might pop up a little bit, but try to get it as flush as possible. Squish, 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 squish. And you don't have to worry about the elastic part. Just do the same on the other side. Now, if you're using a journal and you want to have a clip on the front, you will want to add whatever it is you're going to be using a piece of ribbon or depending on which version you want to do I've done it where I have two ribbons here and you just tie it closed or you could have a flap you will want to add the flap before you add this glue it into the inside cover add this and then a piece of velcro or a snap to the outside I wouldn't suggest doing that with like a book, obviously it totally destroys the illusion. But it is an option you can have if you wish to have it. Now, this is still a bit wet. So I won't attach my unit right here. But this is the way it'll go. It'll close. And there is your tablet cover disguised as a book. And get as imaginative as you can. Different books, different insides, 
Now, I like the cracked foam because it's soft and it doesn't scratch. Do not use felt, natural craft felt. This is a craft foam, very big difference. This is a very spongy material. I'll put this back to glue it down here. See, something like this would be good with a flap. And this is what I meant with like a fancy cover page. So you can glue, take this part and glue this to your craft foam. That way you get to keep the page and it just looks nicer. Again, this is just a plain journal. But this was too thin this way and too long this way. If you use regular felt, it's more of a scratchy material, so you don't want to be using that at any point. Plus, there's no protection either. Also, if you want, you can de decorate your outside if you just get a plain journal or book. Or, or even just a plain book, take off the dust jacket. You have an empty canvas to do whatever you want with. This is my original ebook. Now, I had ha hoped that my tablet would fit in here, but it was just a little too thick. This is just an e-matic, cheap Chinese thing that does more than a Nook does, or a Kindle. And I was surprised when I got this because I was expecting just a cheap, flimsy thing. If you go into the store, you're paying a minimum of at least $20 or something like this. And they go up to 60 I don't think so. <sighs> I won't go and pay that much for that. This came with this particular unit. And it was just a plain black leatherette case. And I'm like, no, nah, it needs something. So these were zippers that I had replaced in my Nana's because they had broken. So I added that and some iron-ons. And this was actually a Halloween coaster. And I just filled in the eyes with some thing and craft um, some fabric paint and I traced around the edge as well. So that's the front. And the back is similar. I just added the four roses and then the half because I didn't have enough to exactly like the front. So I just made it so much more me. And I love this cover. I was kind of miffed that I couldn't use it for my tablet. <laughs> I love this thing. So yeah, I mean, if you guess, just get a plain book, make it your own. So that is my DIY. Do it yourself which is what DIY means for the two of you that might not know. Kindle cover, tablet cover, made from a journal and or book. And these I got at Walmart for about $4. So for a lot less money, you can make your own. <laughs> Comment, rate, subscribe, even better. Show me ones that you have made. Video response them. Comment on what you might have done or if you have any better ideas on how to improve this particular design. And I shall see you in my next video.